If you want to dull the sound of your driver or hot melt it at home, you can with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I ordered this. It's by Golf Works and it's head tacking adhesive. And I ordered it in the injector here. So it comes in like this little like syringe here. You can also order it just in a bottle, I think, but I'm not sure you'd need your own equipment to do this. Now, I've actually used this. I actually ordered this again because I didn't film it when I was using it and I'm so impressed with it. I want to show it to you. So you get this syringe here, right? You put that in there. You get this little flexible uh, nozzle here so what you do is you take this off and then you screw this in here and you put the plunger in here and then you can squirt this stuff out it kind of looks like this uh, translucent white and you get a ton of it i don't know how much is in here exactly but it does say that it stops rattles and metal woods traps particles in seconds so you can use this for a lot of stuff you can actually weight your driver a little bit so if you are used to hot melting it you know you don't have adjustable weights or something like that you can use it for that if you have a little piece of something stuck in the driver head, it's rattling around a little sliver of metal or something and you can't figure out where it is, this will kind of grab it, trap it, and it also makes driver heads much quieter, which is actually what I wanted to do. I don't want to actually use this right now, but I will tell you, it takes a little bit of pressure when you are pushing the plunger down. You actually have to kind of muscle it a little bit because this is very small. Now, you also might want to make sure that you are watching the level. You might want to mark it here and say, hey, I only want to make sure that I only put this much in there, you know, one, two, three grams, five grams, whatever you're looking for, because it can be very easy to think it's going very slowly. I'm not sure how much I'm putting in there and then put in a lot, right? But what I wanted for me is to take this driver. This is a light speed driver. They're very cheap. I have a number of these heads, but it is super loud. I think this whole thing is titanium or stainless steel, whatever it might be. It's just an all metal head, no baffles in there, no carbon fiber anywhere so it gets very loud and even taking a driver like this to the golf course is very loud so i actually played with this because it's got a really big face it's very forgiving i hit it very very well actually for being a cheap driver but every time i teed off with it they'd be like man sounds like you got all that because it gives you this really high ping like this loud ding clang chunk bang boom Anyway, you get what I'm saying. It's just very loud. I think it's probably similar to like the Ping G425, but I wouldn't be surprised if this is much louder and quite a bit harsher. Now, on the golf course, even if you don't hit a bomb and it sounds like a bomb, that can be a good thing. But I will tell you what, when I take this to the simulator, it's so loud, I am kind of self-conscious about it to other people in the simulator because it's like, Cling! Clang, clang. I mean, it sounds like you're hitting the bottom of a cooking pot, right? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put just a little bit back here. Now, I will say these are glue-in hosels. So uh, if you have a removable hosel, there's usually an opening to the head. So if you want to put some weight here, you know, say you want to make your driver a little draw biased or really low up there, you can kind of get this up there and squeeze it in there from up here. Now on the back of these, we have removable weights and these give me direct access to the head. So actually I put uh, the glue right here, right in the back, further back, helps with forgiveness, really far down low here, helps with uh, launch. So it was really nice. I had easy access to it with this driver head, but you might not have this, but you might have a driver head that you really love that makes a lot of noise, okay? So I went ahead and I put a little bit, a few grams right here on this driver, and I wanna show it to you what the difference is. Now I have another light speed driver head kind of set up exactly the same way, you know, but this one is just a stock configuration, so no modifications to it. I'm not sure how well this is gonna come across, but I do wanna take a golf ball and hit this and show you, at least hopefully on camera, we'll see if it comes across, what the difference is here. So I'm gonna turn the microphone around so it's facing the drivers here, and then we will test this out. All right, so this is the light speed driver, just a golf ball right here. It's a soft compression one actually. And I'm just gonna bang it as hard as I can against the driver head here. This is a stock configuration, and this should give you an idea of what this sounds like. It's kind of like ringing a bell, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing here. This is the one where I have gone ahead and hot melted it with this tack adhesive, and it's right back here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this as hard as I can as well. So you might be able to tell, hopefully, even though this probably isn't the best way to record the audio, I just get so much more ting. It's like there's this after ringing. 
like ringing a bell, just super high pitched. And I don't know how hard I'm hitting this, 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour maybe, maybe not even that. And it's like ding, 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 versus just duller, thuddier. I don't know that I'd call it a great sound, but it sounds much more typical of a driver. So a low quality, cheaply made driver head here can maybe fit the bill because you get that sound down to where you need it as opposed to something that might just draw lots of attention to you. Anyway, if you are trying to dull the sound of your driver, if you are trying to put weight in certain places, or maybe you're trying to quiet something, that gun in the driver and is rattling around, I think the Golf Works head tacking adhesive here is absolutely awesome. I thought I might have to take it to a Golfsmith place and have them do a hot melt, but I can do this at home. Comes out a little bit like hot glue, although not at that temperature. It just has that kind of consistency. I don't know that it ever firms up and gets hard. I think it might always stay like soft and tacky, kind of like a rubber cement or something, but it has been awesome. It has allowed me to use some drivers that I thought were so loud and obnoxious I would never be able to hit them in public but this is allowing me to do it so if you want to pick up this I will put a link to it in the description below Peter Von Panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper